brother's love is a brother's love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. That jump. Don't feel. On this particular video today, we're gonna do five simple hacks for those who are at the beginning stage of barbecuing or grilling. With these five simple hack guys, this is gonna elevate your barbecue game or your grilling game to the next level and it's gonna be so easy to do. If you are an advanced barbecuer or advanced griller, this is not the video for you. But for those who are in the beginning stages, these five hacks is gonna help you get to the next level where everybody in your neighborhood, your friends, your family, even your bosses, your coworkers, whoever you invite to your barbecue is gonna talk about your barbecue for the next couple years, guys. So. Take this journey with me because I'm gonna show you the simple five hacks of what to do for grilling. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> so, hack number one, guys. If for whatever reason you do not have any old newspaper, any paper laying around, if you don't have a lighter cube or even a lighter twig, or let's just say for the sake of it, a blowtorch. <laughs> guys, you could use this hack. It's called the Dorito hat. All you have to do, get you a bag of Doritos, get a couple of those triangle chips, and place them inside the charcoal, and just light it up. As simple as that. That's going to create that fire. It's going to light up instantly, and it's going to help you create that fire for that charcoal to get nice and hot. I guess my boys see something they not supposed to see, or see something they want to see. <laughs> Let's move on to hack number two. So in this particular hack that we're talking about is two simple things that I want you guys to buy or have, which is a pair of tongs that's long and a spatula, preferably one of the spatulas that you use on a griddle that's long with the long head. What that means is that these things are gonna help you protect your hands and your arms because why? Sometimes when you're reaching for that burger that's on the opposite end of you, which is the long end, it's gonna create some type of heat that's going against your arm or your hands. So with that long spatula, with that long pair of tongs, it's gonna help you eliminate that possibility of getting injured, getting burned, or whatever the case may be. So that's hack number two, guys. So hack number three. Now that you got the first two hacks inside your pocket, the first thing you wanna do is to make sure the charcoal has enough time to turn into white, which usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe perhaps even half an hour, depends on the charcoal that you get the, in regards to the brand. Two, the pair of tongs that we are referring to, the long pair of tongs, and that's long head spatula is gonna save you from getting burned. But this is the number three when we start cooking the food. So when we're talking about food, we're talking about grilling what? Burgers, oh man. Burgers is the essential barbecue for the summertime when you want to grill for a nice juicy burger. And how do you keep the burgers from getting dry, which is the worst thing you can have. You take a bite through that burger and you're like, wow, this is like cardboard. What's going on here? So the hack in order to keep that burger nice, juicy and moist is to throw a ice cube right in the center of that burger. After you season it or however you season it, Put that ice cube right in there in the center and it's all going to create and dissipate that liquid water. You can even have um, beef consomme and put it in the ice cube tray and put that in the center of your burger. Or beef broth whatever, or beef stock, whatever you want to use. That's going to advance and elevate that burger, oh my goodness, to another level with another layer of flavor. So guys, whew, that's hack number three. Hack number four, guys. Oh man. Speaking of burgers, you know, we got the burgers going down right now. So what we got to go with the burgers? We got to have some hot dogs. My kids love hot dogs, as they call it in today's world, gleezies. Or if I'm misspelling it or mispronouncing it or whatever the case may be, I apologize. I'm an old school dude. I'm calling old fashioned hot dogs. <laughs> I like the all beef Frank's hot dogs, guys. That's just my preference, but you can get whatever hot dogs you like. So with those hot dogs, in order to give them a nice little presentation, you can actually, you know, score them. You can actually make it in a spire, which is going to help cook it faster. Now, remember, guys, throughout the whole entire process, we're cooking these burgers and hot dogs in indirect cooking method, which means the heat, which is the source of the heat, which is the charcoal that now is charred up with in that all white charcoal, you're not cooking it on the desk purposely searing the burgers or the hot dogs. 
what you want to cook is on the opposite side of that kettle or the gas grill whatever you're using to make sure that your burgers are cooking nice and evenly so they can cook all the way through and then sear it at the end which is what we call it a reverse sear but man if you do it in a spiral way guys with the hot dogs that is going to be amazing for your taste buds it's going to have a great look on the presentation and when you put the condiments on it guys whatever you use oh uh, it's going to absorb and hold that because it's going to go down into the meat of the hot dog guys that's my hat for number four number five guys after you finish grilling all your hot dogs your burgers and everybody's eating everybody's satisfied now it's time for the cleanup man that is the worst part of the barbecue feast of all so what do we do guys you can do a simple trick actually i got two for you what you can do is guys is get you a large onion cut it up in half use that long pair of tongues while the fire's still hot on the griddle on the grates i should say you should want to move it up and down so that way the acidity from the onion is going to help clean any bacteria that's on the grates itself and with the moisture of the grates um, it's going to loosen up any of the burn uh, effects from the uh, burgers that are left over the burnt char meats or, or the hot dogs and that's going to help create that uh, loosening effect for those uh, particular uh, uh, things that are burnt to come off loose so you can clean it better and the other hack that I have for you guys in the same uh, bonus hack, it's going to be a ball of aluminum foil. Again, using the long pair of tongs, make it the aluminum foil into a ball and just straight up and down. That's all you got to do, guys. And it's nice and clean. And all you got to do is make sure that you preheat it again and scrape it one more time before you use it on the next use for your next grilling session. So, guys, these are my five simple hacks for your summertime barbecue for your summertime grilling, for your summertime party that you're about to have. And again, with these five hacks, it's gonna advance and elevate your game to the next level, guys. Again, this video is for only those who are in the beginning stages of learning how to barbecue, how learning how to grill. And for those who are at more advanced, comment down below, guys. Help these uh, brothers and sisters out on how you have some of the hacks that you use to help them elevate their grilling game or their barbecue games. And guys, until next time, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.